Okay guys, this is the project. So we have these walking sticks and I kind of started the video but then I wasn't. Um, you guys couldn't see me painting it. So we are painting walking sticks that we've had for a long time, a couple of years I think or more. And instead of throwing them out, um, we're just going to paint them and make them all bright and kind of brighten up the corner of our house where I like to have my one and only umbrella and then I thought it would be really nice right in the front door area to have some painted sticks um, walking sticks and such so oh, um, Cora's helping me we only have a few today that we got here but we thought this was a good inspiration um, for a summer project, since it's the beginning of summer here, there's to rinse. I don't know if you guys have run away, to be honest. Um, what was I going to say? Of course, they're talking. To be honest, I can't remember what I was going to say. I don't know. I just want you guys to kind of catch the, the this, and I didn't want to do the video downstairs again. I wanted to do it upstairs with Cora in the sun. Um... Not having windows downstairs in the winter, like I said before, is okay for me, but in the summer, um, it kind of makes it, I don't know, not as, I don't want to go down there as much. So, we're crafting out here. I'm standing at my bar, uh, what's that called, this island table bar thing, it's not a bar, but it's an island, island. table, uh, and it's, it goes up here and it goes down a little lower where prepare food and whatnot. So just use this. Thank you. This is what I am doing. That would be nice. Um you could do smaller hand easier handle hand sticks that you can handle easier. Um, we do have a garage full of them, but we just wanted to do these walking sticks. I was cleaning my front door area this morning, and I thought, gee, these things look so dingy. And I've kept, had them for like a long time, a couple years. The kids don't like throwing them away when we go camping, and they're like, they don't have the sticks they collected. So, and Kendra has some in her room as well, so I'll convince her to paint those. That'd be really cute. And you could go over it and do designs. Cora, I'm stealing the water for a bit here. Okay. And I don't know how long it's going to take to paint this whole thing, but we could either stop the video for a bit. And sorry, girl. And um, stop the video a bit and, and see where we're at. Um, another idea is to paint the whole thing white. I'm just going over top of it. I want to see how well the cover, co uh, co color, cover, and I didn't feel like gessoing it really. I just thought I'd try it this way. We could do some gesso. It probably would be, well the color would be brighter. And I think it would be really neat if you even sand some of it down after and have a little warm look to it. Make little almost tribal symbols or something really cute. But dots, that kind of thing, almost looking like the jitter, whatever. Um, uh, Australian walking sticks. I can't think of the name right now. Thanks, Cora. You're welcome. So, my doggies are barking. Nice color. So, we will be back when we get a little bit more done, guys. Cora, back up. I don't see you. <laughs> I just found a hair inside of it. There's a pink thing more. You have to get dark colored so I can black. Okay. 
hit him in the head, monkey. Okay? It works really well if you're standing up and holding the stick like this too. Like me? What? <laughs> nice family fun project. Kendra's in on it too. You can't see her, but you can see her stick. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, you can. And I think it's gonna look cute. I'm gonna do a pattern on mine. Oops. Oh, there goes all the red paint on mine. <laughs> my bad. On my sweater. Yeah, my. Which one's the bottom? The little, little skinnier end, usually. So I'm just going to do patterns of green, yellow, red, orange, and then I think I'm actually going to put some wool around some of the ends too, or some string, like baker's twine or something. And you could even hang some beads off of it too, so that I could put some paper beads or something. That'd be really cool. Uh -huh. And have something like that, or just because it's in a corner. If you're having a walking stick and you're walking in the woods, you might want to have beads on or bells on it so that no bear will sneak up on you. <laughs> it, you know, so they can hear, animals can hear you and you don't startle them. So that would be a safety thing. Cool idea. You can even use a plain stick and put beads or bells if you're walking with it too. Yeah. They then, say that it's safe for bears to have some noise so then they, they get out of the way and they're not there. But if you startle something like that, you might get hurt. Right? Mm -hmm. So. Safety first. You almost got yellow paint on you and you got orange paint. Boy. And yellow paint. Guess who's washing their sweater since we're done? Mommy. Hey, don't get me. So anyway. Just wanted to turn on the video again to show family fun. Yeah. I'm going to stop that video right now. Okay, I'll see you again. There's hell over this. Show them your stick. You're hot, holding it up. They can't see it. Down. Good. So... I am sandpapering down my stick to make the paint look to make the paint look worn and torn and yeah, worn yeah. like this. You can just show them yours. You gotta put it in so they can see it. Yeah, show them what your bottom. Your bottom. <laughs> Kendra's working on hers. It's pretty cool design. She's got the bottom that looks like the spine sticking to the grass, and then a vine. She's working on the vine going all the way up the stick. So, that looks good. They can't see you working there. Where are you going? I'm sandpapering it. Actually, I don't have sandpaper, so I'm using this. Nail file, emery board. Emery board? Anne Marie board. Oh. It's a nice quiet project to do. If you do it, your project a little bit more, because now I need something. I'm going to show you guys my design here. It was a pattern, but then I messed it up. But that's okay. And I'm going to put some wool and twine on it, and it'll be nice, cute for the corner of the house, I think. So, that's the project so far. We'll be back in a little while. What if we won't? What if we will? What if we will? So, I am, I grabbed my, my... We have no idea if we're in front of the camera, by the way, guys. So, don't, I hope you guys don't mind. We're in front of we're the camera. We're just kind of... So I'm using the phone. I have my um my twine. I need some green. I'm gonna grab some twine, which I have twine right here. Twine. 
And then, uh, I don't have the scissors. I'm painting stripes over each area where my, I guess, one of you see, um, walking stick meets, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to paint the center of that stripe in between the two black stripes white, just for something different. And I'm going to wrap this around my stick, the twine around my it. stick. Um, yeah, and that's wool that we're using and just that kind of stuff. This is just pretty. Right here. <laughs> she manages to stretch and look at it. The there, there we go. I'm going to wrap this around my stick. Okay. First, I need stop to tie the video. This. Okay. And pause or the square? Stop. Yeah. Square or pause? Square. Okay. So I am starting to make it like that. It's starting to look like this. Like that. Pretty cool. The twine she's wrapping it around, or the wool actually, I keep calling it twine, but it looks really cool. So, and I'm just still painting along my stripes, and in between the stripes, I'm going to have the white and probably do some designs in that or something. So, that's what I got so far. Kendra is working on a really cool piece. Can I put it forward because they won't go see it on your lap? It's looking like a tribal, um, a little bit tribe. more forward. Uh, Type and it's got the vine. There we go. It's pretty cool. So that's what the looks we're going so far with. Okay, Cory, you can stop it. Stop it. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so I have three strings together, and now I'm gonna braid them all together. Um, they're gonna be. I'm gonna braid them. There. So they're all. On that part. So now I have to braid. I need someone to hold. Oh, the my battery's dying. So I'm braiding them. Okay. So this is um, the video I have now on my webcam. I'm doing it. I got my brought my laptop up. And um, the reason I'm doing it with this is to finish it up because the video cut off and I managed to upload what I did but the ending I couldn't upload because it was uh, on my phone still and it's dead like something happened there so my phone is not in operating order at the moment and I'm grateful that I didn't lose the whole project because now I'm behind on posting but this is it so just wanted to let you know. I'm trying not to make it too shaky. There's the three painted sticks amongst other sticks there. And I hope that this is a good inspiration just to grab some walking sticks and paint them up and decorate the corner of your home. Um, I use these sticks. They, they stay there. And then I use them actually um, for hanging up toques and mitts and stuff like that. Because I have a heater right at the bottom. You can see that little thing over the heater that's to dry your mitts and your boots and whatnot. And I use them to put, you know, bits and toques and stuff, hanging them off of their scarves, anything that gets wet. And, yeah, so I just keep them there all year round. Anyway, pretty them up, and now they're looking pretty fancy. So that is my inspiration. And I hope you guys enjoyed and give it a try and do your own little designs. And you can hang your, your stuff on there. I'm sorry, guys. I'm wiggling so much. I'm um, trying to now... Put the video. It is very difficult when you don't have anything holding it. Okay. I'm putting it on my laptop now. I'm just talking. But anyways, that is it. Uh, the idea. And um, I think it makes a nice bouquet too. So if you did smaller sticks, you can do a bouquet and have them in a vase. And I think it would be really pretty. So I hope you guys like that. Don't forget to craft like a duck. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.